So sis, what's your name again? Sharon. I think I talked to you for a couple minutes over there. Yeah. You was talking about um, how the our, our young men, uh, how the youth need to hear what we bringing out and how it's the truth, right? Yeah. I think when they know we chose you, that's enough. Okay. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12 real quick. The white man stole our history. Uh-huh. They just took everything. They did, they did. They stole it, sis. Well, you're seeing it right now. Right now, you're seeing it come back around. You're seeing the prophets. Of this. The reason why we are here is to show our people, first and foremost, who they are according to the Bible. The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. You are God's chosen people. Right. It's time for us to come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. And, and to our nationality. So that's what we out here for, sis. Like you say, a lot of things have been taken from us, have been stolen, our identity. We suffer from an identity crisis, would you say? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we suffer from an identity crisis here in America right. And, right. and all over the world. Right. We don't know who we are, what we're supposed to be doing, what we're supposed to eat, how we're supposed to dress. Right. With black. Everything started with black to make a white the brother. The brother bought that out earlier about how God. What's your name, Sharon? Right? Sharon. About how God formed man out of dust of the ground. He just he was talking about that out. He wasn't here, but he brought that out. How yeah, it was two black people, right. two That's dark skinned right. people. That's right. So and God created us. So uh, read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter ten, verse twelve. Bring it up. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. So. What God requires of us is actually written in the Bible. Since you said they took our, they stole our identity, they stole our nationality. A part of that was them telling us that this book was a white man's book. That, uh, only read the New Testament when you read this book. Don't read the Old Testament. These are lies that have been fabricated uh, towards our people to keep us sleep, to keep our, us from knowing who we truly are according to the Bible. All right, so when you go back and you read the Bible, uh, through spiritual eyes, you begin to see yourself in the book. Right. So a part of them destroying our identity was them hiding the book from us. That's right. right. Was them telling us, don't read this. Right. If you do, just read Jesus loves everybody, and that's all. You, everybody gonna go to heaven. Right. Teach. That's what they teach us. But right. is, does that is that true? Does the Bible actually say that? So read it again. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? So now you see us coming back, like you said, it's gonna come back around. Right. You see us out here. In purple, we got a Bible open, we got pictures of what happened to our people, right? We read, now, thus said the Lord. So you see these things happening. The, now the Lord is saying, now Israel, now you know you an Israelite. You an Israelite, sis, depending on what tribes, 12 different tribes, depending on where your father is from, is going to determine that tribe. Right. That's right. So if your father is a so-called black American or African American, you would be from the tribe of Judah. Right. Which read is the same out. tribe that Jesus Christ comes out of. That's right. Jeez. So the Lord said, now that you know you Israel, read. But to fear the Lord thy God. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? He's going to require some things from us. So in addition to us now, we finding back our heritage. You, come here, my bro. You see you still around, man. Come on. Come on for a second, man. Come on, hear this real quick. So part of, a part of God says now, I'm going to wake you back up, but I'm going to require some things from you, though. That's right. I need y'all to do something when I wake you back up. When I pull you out of this sleep. I need you to do some Enjoy. things for me. Read. Right. But to fear the Lord thy God. I need you to fear me. I need you to understand that I am the one true God. I need you to come out of being a Jehovah's Witness. I need you to come out of being a Catholic. I need you to come out of the Christian church worshiping white Jesus. I need you to come out of Islam. I need you to come out of, uh, uh, I don't believe in God. I'm an atheist. I need you to come out of all of these different philosophies that you've been uh, taught that have destroyed you. I'm going to require you to come back to fear me, the right. one true God. Right. You understand this, sis? You with me? All right. To walk in all his ways. I need you to walk in all, his, all my ways. This is what God is telling me. I need you to walk in all my ways. Where do we find the ways of God? Sharon, where do we find the ways of God? He's asking us to walk in his ways. Teach up! We have find it, we Bring find the ways. 
the walk for the God in the Bible, an entire book. That's, That's right. You got ten commandments, but then you have sub commandments and statutes under those ten. Right, right. That's right. You have sub laws, but you don't. We don't know this Gee. if we don't read the book, if we're not taught properly. Right. You see why it's important for teachers to come out here on the street on 35th Prairie on a Saturday and teach the people? That's right. Because right. we don't know. So Sharon, listen to me real quick. You got somewhere to be? So the Lord said, you knowing you Israel, he requires something of you. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it up. He's requiring something of you, Sharon, knowing that you an Israelite. You said earlier to me that the, the young children have to uh, give me a fact, give me Titus 2 first. Day is one. Bring it up. So you said to me earlier that the young people need to hear this, what we teach and what we out here bring it. Right. It's the reason you said that because what? Apparently this stuff hasn't been taught. Right. That's right. These kids, they're not learning it in school. My sister, my sister, my sister right here with the glass. Walk. You got five minutes? So they didn't just about destroy the children. Why? I'm going to show you why. You got it? Read. Watch this, sis. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 3. Bring it out. The aged women, likewise, uh -huh. that they be in behavior and become in holiness. So this is these are some of the ways of, of God that we need to be walking in and that we need to be teaching the children. But when you look at a, an aged person, the aged person is supposed to, at least back in the day, was supposed to raise the children, the grandchildren, right? And teach right. them some things. Right. That's right. actually recorded in the Bible. God said to do that. That ain't nothing we made up. Right. God said to do it, but we've gotten away from it. That's Why? Right. Because like you said before, we was destroyed. So right. those were one of the things, one of the uh, our customers. Watch this, watch this, Sharon. Hold on, you're right. You're absolutely right. you absolutely right. But that's something that has to be taught to the child. Now watch this, right. Sharon. Watch this. Three. Not false accusers. So I read it again from the top. The aged women, My likewise, sister. that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. So our aged women, like yourself, uh, uh, Sharon, you look young, but I can tell you have experience. Right. You may be a little aged, you may be a little older than me. Jeez. So the Bible is saying that the aged women, what? My sis. My sis with the hat. Come the here, aged second. women, likewise, uh -huh. that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. Our, our aged women have to become holy. To be holy means to be separate apart. Right. Show you a way that you can be uh, set apart right now without probably just going home and going to your closet and changing something. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, really? verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So everything we need to learn and, and how we're supposed to dress and how we're supposed to behave is recorded in the Bible. You agree? Right. You agree. All praises. And so now God is going to tell us how to make the aged woman holy or how to make her set apart from all the other women that are on the, on, on the planet Earth. Bring it Bring out. out. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. All right, read it again from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So Sharon, what are some articles of clothing that pertain to men? Those pants, says Sharon. Come here, Sharon, where you going? Hold on, sis, hold on. But let's, I understood, sis. Come on, but you got, we got to change. Right. Is this not important what we talking about? You said it earlier. You said it. This was very important, sis. Right. So we need to instill this into you, Sharon, Jeez. so you can go and instill it to the younger sisters. Bring it out. Right. Understood. I un understood you. You probably doing a great job, but we just here to. Oh, I understand, sis. Right. Right. So, but you gonna you wanna hear it though? That's why you here. Right. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man pull on a woman's garment. Because, sis Sharon, if I was standing here in a dress, would you respect me? Would you be standing here listening to me if I was standing here in a skirt? Bring it up. No. You wouldn't. No. Talking about God. No. Right. But God said this. Read. For all that do are abominations unto the Lord thy God. If God say the same thing. You're like, I wouldn't listen to you standing there talking about God in a, in a, in a dress. Right. God says it's an abomination, Sharon. That's so right. now, and then later in, the, in that verse, it said that the woman wearing things that pertain to men, which is what you said was pants. Right. Hold on. Hold on, sis. Hold on. Hold on, sis. So what you what you telling me is that I understand, but you said man rewrote the Bible. Are you trying to say that this verse is not uh, 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 valid? This scripture is not valid? My bro, you got two minutes to come talk to him? I'm talking about how the preachers preach. Right. So sis, yeah, exactly. But sis, check it out. But hold on, sis, because right now you are in. You are God looks at you right now as a cross dresser. You don't know that, because why? You never heard it, you ain't been taught it, because why? The pastor said, only read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Bring it up! But when you expand and read, actually read the whole Bible, you learn that 
Like I'm, I'm a married brother. Most of these brothers out here are married. My right. wife used to wear pants, but when I learned that God said it was an abomination, I said, wife, you got to go take the pants off and put on the dress. Right. Right. You got to put on a skirt. Right. You got to dress more modestly that's because right. that's what God wants you to do. Yeah. 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 It's not about me. It's not about what we being taught out here. It's about that's what God right. wants us to do. Right. So that's right. what I'm trying to show you, sis. Gee. Now when you go and you put your skirt on, now your granddaughters and your nieces, nephews, they see you. They're like, man, auntie, she, she be wearing dresses all the time. She right. real. She, you gonna start getting confident. She look real pretty in those dresses. Right. Real nice. You used to for real, but why? Because that un, it was an ungodly custom that grew strong on the earth. That's right. And you right. stop. You stop, sis. Bring it out. So God is telling you today. Get back right. So if you look on the back of that flyer, sis, I know you gotta go. But look on the back of that flyer real quick. I wanna show you something. Our address and our phone number is on there. Subscribe, subscribe, Right, subscribe. Come get with us, come learn more so you can teach the younger children. I'm a West Side. You a West Sider? Look at God. Bring it out. So call us out, read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, uh -huh. neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, uh -huh. for all that do so are abominations unto the Lord thy God. So contrary to what America teaches, the Lord hates cross-dressing. Right. That's right. The Lord hates women that wear pants. Why? Because pants put, on a, put a masculine spirit on a woman. That's right. She now becomes... Uh, less feminine and more masculine. Right. So God is saying, woman, put on a dress, a modest dress, and, and men, put on pants. Don't cross dress. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.